Hi everyone, welcome back. This is going to be a video about um, what I will be doing for five in a row. I'm just giving you a little glimpse because I'm still planning it. I've completely finished um, my second grader's notebook. I still have to do my kindergartners. Um, and we're using a lot of things for our, our school next year. Um, but I will be using five in a row. I really love their books. so. And um, Mikey really enjoys doing that type of work. So I figured I would do his. And then it's great because I can have Alex as well um, working together. Even though his will be a little bit easier to do. Um, so I'm going to show you now um, Mikey's notebook. <clears throat> so the first thing that I'm going to be doing is actually... Um, doing a uh, storm in the night that will be our first book and i will be putting like the planner page um onto his notebook to separate the books that we do um that way i can keep track of stuff um i've written in uh stuff in pencil because i'm still planning it's still on the planning stage so as i do the things um i will add them here exactly where it is that i want them to go so um don't pay no attention to my writing. <clears throat> so the first activity, um, what I have done actually is cut everything that they have from the book. So um, I cut the little sections. I highlight what we're going to do. And for this page, um, what I did was I googled a person's image <clears throat> and I cut it out and I put it on here. Um, and this is to, uh, where we're going to be talking about uh, relationships. So we will do a vocabulary card and they will keep those in a metal ring. So as we go through the five in a row, they'll end up with different um, vocabulary cards to go over and over. So what this guy is for is after we talk about what relationships are, he needs to pick a person. And... What he will do here is write um, the person's name and me. And then um, all over the body, he's just going to put the kind of relationships he has uh, with that person and what they do together and things like that. So that's what that page will be for. Our next page, even though this is science, I have put it on here because um, I want him to track the weather because this book is a lot about weather. Um, so I want him to track the weather. So we're going to learn what a meteorologist is and he'll write the definition here and the tools that they use. Um, also, because we're near um, a few... Uh, my goodness, a few television news. Um, I'm going to see if I can talk to them and see if I can get like a tour or something where he can actually talk to a meteorologist um, that predicts the weather on the TV. So we'll see how that goes. Um, and then we go on to the next page. And the next page, this is where he will be graphing the weather um, by the day. So he'll be doing it by the day and he'll just draw a picture of what the weather was like. Put what the weather <clears throat> what the weather is for that day and then I want him to do a thermometer reading um, that I will keep outside and he'll put the temperature for the day and he's only doing that like Monday through Friday and then for this page as you can see I clip my notes on here because we still haven't started second grade <clears throat> this page is about fear so the lessons for fear um, We'll talk about what uh, fear means, so he'll do a vocabulary card. Um, and then he's going to tell me some things that make him scared. Um, uh, what he thinks about when he's nervous or scared, and then he'll draw himself scared, and then just draw whatever it is that makes him scared. And things that he can do next time he's scared, and things like that. So that's what that page is for. The next activity is, um, I pretty much just googled this image and got it out. And I'm going to have him actually just color the faces depending on what he thinks those feelings colors are. And this is pretty much just for fun. We'll talk about what each feeling is like, um, you know, and things like that. That's pretty much just a fun page. Um, over here is where we start language arts and we're going to start learning about quotation marks and this was kind of like an anchor chart that I just printed out. It's in color but 
I don't have color ink, so. Um, and we'll just go over this, and I'm going to have him learn this little saying because I thought it was pretty neat. And then he's going to go in the story, and he's going to find some quotation marks and um, whatever line <clears throat> the quotation mark is. I'm going to have him actually write those lines all over the notebook in different colors just to decorate it. <clears throat> and that's what put that back on there um, over here we're still talking about quotation marks so what I have done is I printed this worksheet out and what he's going to do is put his quotation marks in here and then he'll choose from here if he can't think about his own conversation if he can think about his own conversation then he'll just write his own conversation on here and make sure he has quotation marks if not he can always go here and use some of those for his comic strip so that's that and then we go on to let's see what that one is. Um, the poetic device. So for the poetic device, um, we will have a vocabulary card on onomatopoeia. I can't even say that word. Um, which is sounds that an object makes. So he'll go around inside the book of the story and he'll search for. Um, examples and then he'll write or draw whatever the example is like for example if it's a clock he'll draw a clock here and then on the inside he'll write tick tock tick tock etc so he only has to have four of those and then we'll also do um, vocabulary for Mandarin and Bo and Aaron and he'll just do vocabulary cards for those so that's what that is and then here we're going to play a game roll a story and um, he's going to roll dice and whatever numbers he gets, he's going to circle them. And then he's going to use that to write his own story. And uh, once he's done that, um, he has to actually do it um, in a way where uh, they're talking to each other so that he gets use of quotation marks and punctuation. After that... <clears throat> We will be studying personification, sorry, and then um, he will be, let's see if I can take this, he will be doing poetic device in here, <clears throat> and he will just be putting four examples, <clears throat> sorry, in those um, little triangles. And then over here, it's the setting and the scene. So um, the scene of the story, he will draw it here. And because this story has two scenes, one inside the house, one outside the house, I left this blank so that he could do the scene in the outside of the house. So he'll be drawing that. And then the next page, we will be talking about similes and... He will be doing examples of similes in here. And then I will just uh, tie this with like a little bow or something like that after he's done. And then we're also going to be talking about <clears throat> the different sources of light that um, he sees in the story. And then we're going to talk about what is our primary source of light. And I put this here just because um, it's not, it's considered kind of like science and art at the same time. So I just put it in there. And then we go on to art. So I left this page blank because on this page he's doing reflections. So um, we'll be doing like a little um, art craft on there and then I will just paste it on there. And you'll see that once he starts school. Um, and for this he is doing facial expressions. So we'll, we'll be using our magazines and he'll just look for facial expressions and uh, draw the eyes. Um, to reveal facial expressions pretty much like um, the book tells you to try so I just gave him like faces on there the next page we are going to be studying color um, so what I'm going to have him do is actually find the crayons that say that and color the squares and then he's doing uh, the contrast so he will be figuring out uh, two uh, Colors that contrast each other and then coloring the heart and then find two different ones and color the triangle. On the next page he will be doing art profiles. So um, one activity I'm going to do is have him actually take a picture of um, like 
not take a picture. I actually go on a magazine and just get different profiles to glue on here. And then I'm actually going to take a picture of him and actually put it on this page too. I think I put it on this page or I made him another. No, it's actually on the other side. So that I have a profile of him and it's just something for fun. And he'll be doing it over here. Um, and another thing we're doing is, um, for math, we are going to be, these are a bunch of cards for shapes. And I just Googled different shapes, uh, polygon shapes, and he'll be building those with um, Play-Doh and Popsicle sticks. And when he does that, then I'll also take pictures of him and glue them onto the notebook. And you'll see those once we start second grade. And then we're going to play the polygon quilt game. So I have two game boards just because he'll play with me and then he'll choose somebody else to play with and um, he'll just write like one on the sides and these are just the rules that I wrote down about the game. So that's what we'll be doing for math. Um, and then next comes science. So for science, move these over. I have made him um, these little things here and he will have to use cotton balls to make the clouds. We will also have books to read when it comes to science. I have a list of books to read. Um, we have also some videos that he'll be reading, but he has pretty much a lot of clouds to make and then just write a little bit about them. Um, and when we're done with the clouds, we will do a uh, recipe for Jello cl Cloud Parfait. So the recipe is here for him to follow. And then um, over here is uh, the six other types of clouds that I did not cover here with the cotton balls. Um, and then we go on to water cycle. So for water cycle, we're going to watch a Magic School Bus video. He will write in the little flat book, um, type of match book. Let's see if I can open it. It's empty. So he will write what he learned from that episode. And then this is just a little if I can turn it around. It's just a little diagram of what the water cycle looks like so I'm just going to have him color that and then for this one it's something that I made so um, I just printed it out and put it on there um, for him to do. And then we go on to thunderstorms. So we also have episodes to watch for the thunderstorm. And then those episodes, after he watches them, he'll be um, coloring his thunderstorms and picking two of the episodes and then just writing a little bit about what he learned. And I also made these. This is worksheet that I made. <clears throat> and then from then, we go on to rain. So we're going to watch some episodes about rain. And um, we're going to wait till it rains in our um, where we're at. And then when it rains, I'm just going to have them go outside and play in the rain. And I will be putting pictures of that here. And, you know, jumping on puddles and things like that. And then um, when after that happens, he'll come to this page. And he's going to tell me what rain looks like. And he'll write it here. And then what rain smells like. Because, I don't know if you guys know, but rain... When it's about to rain, you can smell it in the air. So um, I'm going to have him just describe what it smelled like to him, what it felt like to him. And for this worksheet, this is something that I created. Um, so if you want any of the worksheets that I created, let me know. Um, I'm not posting them on here because um, I pretty much kind of did it so that I have to kind of like email them. I haven't figured out how to do that Um the other thing yet if I do I'll put it in on the bottom but if not just leave me a comment and I'll try to get your email somehow so that I can mail it uh, email it to you so just let me know if you want my worksheets <clears throat> um, and that's it that will be our first uh, book that we're going to be rowing and um, all these activities are what we're covering as far as this book goes um, I haven't started the next book yet because I still have to put all these worksheets into my kindergartner's uh, notebook and make his own notebook. So anyways, thank you for watching. Uh, hope you like this and I just wanted to share what it is that I do for five in a row. Um, hopefully you guys join us and try some of these activities. Thanks. Bye.